Well, hi guys. How are you? Welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. You know Erin Swan. Hi. <laughs> she's my co-host for the day because she's with EZ Credit Consulting. There you go. Good job. First time. I know. I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So she's here sponsoring the show because I called her up. She lives in Cresswell and I said, I got your neighbors in Cottage Grove. Um, they got something really cool going on and you've got to check this out. You guys, they are doing a carousel project in Cottage Grove. So the story behind it, the backstory is so cool, but I'm going to let them tell you that because we, we already got the kind of the information. We got the information. And Aaron wants to sit on one of the horses, but I already told her you, you can't do that. And we're going to tell you the difference between a merry-go-round and a carousel and a menagerie. Yes. And they're working on this right now, so let's go find Russ, okay? okay. All right. So here you go. Hey, Russ. Good morning. Welcome to Facebook Live. Look at that. Oh, is that beautiful or what? Oh, my gosh. Look at how handsome you <laughs> oh. are. Oh, that Dude, was me? You, yeah, yeah. You're okay. the one on the left, just okay. so you know. All right. I'm here. Yeah. Now, don't judge the project by Russ, okay? <laughs> so, so, Russ, tell people... Tell people about what's going on in here. At the WOE Hall in Cottage Grove, which is the fairgrounds, we're completely uh, refurbishing the 1929 Alan Herschel film. So look, guys, here, oh, sorry about that. I got you in there. Here's guys in here working. Yeah. We've got folks are working. all uh, the pieces here. All the pieces are set up here for you to take a look at kind of a staging area where you've got the uh, sill plates, the uh, deck panels, the main mast, Here's the, here's the dream to do with it. There's a, one of the animals that is completed. There's 30 animals, right? 30 animals go on the machine. So tell me how this happened. This is, the backstory is awesome. Come here, Aaron. We gotta talk to Russ. Waves. Okay, sorry guys. We just, we, I know we saw, we saw your signal. It went, it went away, went bye bye. So now we're gonna try it just on my uh, regular signal. So again, this is Russ. And you are with the project. Yes, I'm the so, project uh, engineer for the project. So where did this carousel come from? It came from Virginia back in 1995. It was used as a traveling carousel, which means that it was like for carnivals and circuses and so forth, where they uh, set it up overnight, run it temporarily for up to three years to uh, let people see the carousel, feel the carousel, be on the carousel. And uh, we need to earn some dollars to purchase land and a building to put it in. So what you want to do is similar to what Albany has done. Albany, if you guys haven't been into Albany, downtown in Old Town Albany, beautiful carousel down there. Yes, yes. And um, they have restored this thing, million dollars in these buildings. Six, seven there. million dollar project. Yeah, that's huge. Correct. So they want to do something similar, but not, not quite as expensive. Remember that's correct, yeah. And, and put this in a location where people will, because what a perfect place is like Cottage Grove, because yes, you guys yes. are an old community, yes. you have a beautiful historic community, probably one of the nicest downtowns in the whole state mm -hmm. of Oregon. And the hope would probably be to have it down there somewhere. Yes, it will be within the city limits, yes. Okay. So how much is it going to cost? Well, <clears throat> depending on our location and the, the, what it costs us to put it in, the spot where we like to be uh, put it in now is over by the Safeway. It's uh, the, the project at that point would be about $1.4 million. Okay. For the so building you, and the carousel, the whole world. So you guys, we're having a little trouble with signal, but it's on now. So I'm going to try to keep it out here and show you what's going on here. But this is the whole carousel in here. These guys are in here. These are volunteers That's correct. working on this. They'd like to get it up and ready in the spring. In the spring, early summer, yes. So have can. it set up at Brad Chevrolet just so people can see it and get excited about it because it's a little tough to get excited about something like this. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you want to know, my darling? Um, what, what, did, tell them, ask about the difference between the... Oh, yeah. So the difference we learned. The, there's a difference between a carousel and a menagerie. This is a fun fact you yeah, guys can share fact. with your friends. So, I guess carousels have only horses. They okay. can have chariots too. Right. But the menageries have other animals as well. So, yes. uh, they don't know if there's a real carousel in Oregon. So, if anybody knows, why don't you guys look it up and let us know. Is there a true, true carousel in our state? That's what we'd love and to where know. where is it at? If you guys know if there's one that, so again, a carousel has only horses. Now they're calling it the carousel project. We're not getting nitpicky about this. Um, and a merry-go-round is what? A merry-go-round is the same thing as a menagerie. Okay. It has, uh, like ours, it's got pigs and uh, antelopes and dogs and horses and and uh, all kinds of animals. What's the it's sort of like the menagerie if you had a farm and they called it a menagerie. Mm -hmm. Okay, well it's got all the goodies in it. Same thing. We've even got a chicken. So that's, <laughs> but they lost but a pig. <laughs> there is a controversy. They did lose a pig. 
We, okay, so if, if somebody the out pig. there has the pig, yeah. if you know where the pig is, <laughs> we are, we're looking for that. And don't dare. This is easy credit consulting. She will find it. She will she find is. it. You'll, we'll hunt it down. She'll hunt it down. She does that for customers. She finds her clients. She, you know, she gets their credit back. So she will find your pig. Okay. I guarantee you. Okay, so I'm going to try to come in here and see if I can still keep a signal going. You are? I'm Alice Nowicki. Okay, so what's going on, Al? There's a big part. This is the party I'm girl. I'm the party girl. <laughs> <laughs> so turn yes. this way. I'm going to see okay. if I can get the, the stuff behind us. I'm okay. just being real careful with my signal. Okay. So we got people working. So what's right. going on? You got you guys got a party coming Oh, up. my goodness, yes. On February 10th, we have a St. Valentine's dinner and dance that will be held at the Cottage Grove High School in the cafeteria. Okay. We have... Um, a, our band is Parson Creek Band, and it is a six-piece ensemble that does swing and big band. So you have Seriously? to bring your dancing shoes. Did these guys play at your at your um, the Armory thing a couple of years ago? They they are a local band around, so they I've have. Heard I, I believe they're even at the Crestwell Coffee Shop that they. Play yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're yeah. really, really yeah, good. Yeah, they're really good, and we're really excited about it. So when does this happen? February tenth on a Saturday. Um, we have silent auction items and lots of information about the carousel. How do people and find that? They come. Uh, they can go on our cgcarousel.com site or our Facebook site. They can call me for tickets, and my number is 541-228-8451, and I'll be glad to hook them up with tickets. Hey, Christine, can you put that phone number in there for us again? Can you say that again? Sure. 541 228 Eight four five one, and yeah. I have to tell you guys. So our our girls at Easy Credit Consulting found it. They found. They, okay, so go ahead. Tell your sister. Yeah, I'm again. Good sister. night. I told you. I told you they would. I told you. You guys, you have to trust. Well, you don't have to trust me, but you have to know. I know what I'm talking about. So give the give the man the information. Looks like Christine found it. She's at home playing hooky. Um, in Salem, there's one. So there is a true carousel in downtown Salem down by the river. I'm sure that's the same thing. They have the same kind of project. But she looked it up online, her sister who works with her. So I told you, the, I, Russ, did I tell you they know everything? <laughs> so she found it, and so there is one there. But this is a menagerie or a merry-go-round, but we're calling it a carousel, and if you don't like it, just be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind that's of what great. we're going to do. That's so great. the money you guys raise at this dinner is going is going to this project. It goes completely to the restoration to get this um, carousel up and running. Okay, so K Shelley and some of you who just joined us, we're in Cottage Grove, Oregon, which is just south of Eugene. Uh, this is a carousel project. Uh, a woman purchased it a few years ago because uh, she had a, some money that she inherited, uh, paid $40,000, got the carousel, and then a couple of months ago she passed away. But the community has always had plans to do something with it, and now we're, we're just kind of putting that plan on steroids yes, a little bit. Yes, just trying to get it going. To get it moving. So yes. how can people help you out other than that? Um, other than money? <laughs> I mean, come well, on. Yeah. Well. well, if you have a piece of property in downtown Cottage Grove yes, that you'd like that to just give, that, that would... would help if they're interested in volunteering, not some, you know, with the restoration, but also with the the more the nuts and bolts, the party planning, the um, distributing, advertising, that type of thing. We really need more people to help us get this off. The so, ground. you guys, again, can you give your phone number? Could somebody put this number on there for us? Okay, it is 541-228-8451, and they can also go on our website and, and buy uh, purchase tickets also. And the website is? CGCarousel.com. Okay, hey, Mr. Expert, come here. You guys, this guy knows a bunch. You're the Mr. Expert. She's the party girl. You're the expert. Are you married to the party girl? I, yeah. I'm just asking. Just trying to I mean, keep up. Yeah. I mean, there's things here in Cottage Grove we have to know. So, so tell. Um, this will be a fun addition to Cottage Grove, says Juanita. You're right, Juanita. That's it will be. So, why are you so into this? Well, I guess um, about a year ago we had a Grange event. We used carousel horses and things for decorations. We got invited to join the the, the group. And it's just snowballed from there. We've gotten involved in so many different things, and it's really fascinating when you start getting into the cottage, uh, the uh, carousel Cause, information. Because you guys, he's the one who gave us all the information. So did you hear that? There is one in Salem. Well, there's Salem and, and up in the Tri Cities. There's a big one up in. Uh, you already knew there was one in Salem. That's a, a true carousel. <laughs> did you already know that? That's. 
There's a. He's hiding information from you, us. You can take party girl. He's not even telling us everything. What can I say? What can I say? Well, can I say? <laughs> well that, but it, they are really cool. I mean, and I think it's coming back because obviously community Salem has one, Albany has one. You guys want to have one? There's actually a, a trail of carousels, and there's a, a, a groups that we, we talk to each other. You know, we run into different problems and uh, rebuilding your carousels, and and uh, there's several of them from. Uh, I think we stopped last summer in Butte, Montana. Huh. They've got a big one that they're putting up there, and uh, just all all over the place, and they're really getting to be p real popular, I think. And you okay. guys, people are asking me. Uh, Kathy is on here, a lady named Kathy Woolridge, and she says, "I'd love Carol to horses. I want to come take pictures." Can, when, when is this open to Our, people? Uh, normal work days are Mondays and Wednesdays, eight in the morning till noon. And it's down at the fairgrounds, which is by the Cottage Grove Speedway. Right. Um, it's something you don't want to see die out. Exactly, Brian. Um, I think it's a, it's a really important thing to keep around. So so Erin is here, and she's one of our sponsors of the show. Um, and so can, Easy Credit Consulting, mm -hmm. you guys help people get bring back their credit. People, we, we all have issues sometimes with our budgets and all that stuff. You teach budgets, you teach that kind of thing. This is something people could do to save some money to... Talk. You okay. <laughs> you you, you, you do what you for do. You to close your mouth. So <laughs> <laughs> it hardly ever happens. I'm sorry. So let's talk about debt real quick. If you want to save some money and help out, um, and you spent too much for Christmas and you've got a lot of credit card debt, um, maybe medical debt, we can help you consolidate that and reduce it down to 45% and get it paid back in three years at zero percent interest. It saves money, puts more money back in your budget. Um, you can donate. They are a nonprofit, so you can get a write off for that. And that's and and. And you really do go in, and, and you guys, Erin has, she gets lots of people out here, because there's, let's just face it, a lot of us don't really know what we're doing with our money. You find that, don't you? Yeah, most people don't have a budget. Actually, nobody does. CPAs sometimes, they have like a spreadsheet, but it's not like really a budget. Um, so we help them with that to figure out where their money's gonna go, how they can save money, where they're cutting, um, and get rid of the unnecessary things so that they can reach their goals. So she comes in and she helps you clean up, and you only pay for the stuff you clean up. That's for a credit repair service, for yes. Credit repair so, service. yeah, only you only pay once it's actually been deleted or repaired. And the budgeting classes, you're gonna start those coming up. Hopefully next month. Um, we're almost done with our program, which is gonna be super cool. Um, so watch for that. We're gonna and, be and, posting some stuff. And this isn't just for people who have credit problems. This no, the budgeting's for anybody that wants to save money. And we have uh, clients that make little to no money to lots of money, and they call me all the time and they say, I just want someone to tell me what to do with their my money. And I tell them that's great because I love to tell people what to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you what, if you don't stay with the program and follow what she says. Yep. And there's monthly check-ins and we do classes and the classes are going to be twice a month and stuff. So it'll be great. There'll be tips and we'll help you get it in line. And you're going to fail for about the first three months. And we expect that. And then you will get on it. And after about six months, you'll be good to go. And you will love us. Did you see what my niece said? Stop talking. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> my, no, my niece is on here. She goes, Uncle Rick, stop talking. LOL. Laugh out loud. <laughs> um, what age range for your budgeting? Um, so high schoolers, college students? So we are actually um, going to do two programs. We're going to do one for adults to deal with adult stuff, mortgages and whatnot. And then we are working on a program that we're trying to gonna get in the schools for kids, for high school, because they obviously don't care about mortgages, like prom dresses and stuff like that. And so just to teach them a little bit about, you know, how much money they make, that taxes are taken out. And if they start saving a little bit now, what they can have for retirement and that can just getting the habit started sooner than later. It's easier to teach it than reteach it. And for those of you who are new, um, and because Aaron's been with us for almost a year now, um, the, the thing I like about you the best, well, that you're funny and you pick on me, I like that. But she also, she, she, you had problems. Yeah, so I got into credit repair um, because I had credit issues. I was young and dumb and um, had the same thing. And I met a girl who said, my boyfriend does credit repair. And I was in finance and I said, what the hell is that? So um, I said, let's give it a shot, it can't hurt. And it worked. And so I learned a little bit and started doing it on the side. And then it kind of just turned into a business, which is great, and I love it. We help people all the time. We just had a guy that came in, and he started with like a 400 or something, like super low credit. He came in today and told me that he got his 30% auto loan refinanced at Northwest Community for 2.99. 
I know, so exciting, right? Then he told me he was going to go buy a $40,000 boat, and I told him no, because he wants to buy a house, and that'll screw up his process. So <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she had a lawyer one time. It was her client, and he came and said, yeah, hey, I got a car. I found a car I want to buy. And Aaron says, I looked on the list. Um, nope, car's not on the list. You're not buying the car. Not unless done. your current car's broken. Yeah, so you're done, and then she gets rid of him. We have a calliope back there we'd like to turn on for you. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back here, you guys, and we're going to pray that this stays together. So okay. come here. I want to show you around. She picks on everyone. Your sister says, yeah, well, you go. We know that. Okay, so you guys hang in there with us. We're going to hope that this works because we are on Wi-Fi signal. And I want to show these guys who are working. Look at the cool. Look at the animals. Isn't that cool, you guys? So look, here we go. So again, they're having a big dinner. Big party in Cottage Grove on the 10th. Yeah. And so you need to go on their site and you can find out more information. And the money you spend to come to the party is also going to help to get this thing put together. Here's more. Look at these. Oh, yeah. I wanted to wait because I wanted to make sure we get the signal here. So these are the guys doing the real work. You guys, are any of you in the witness protection program before I show you? I just want to make sure that everybody here is legit. Wait, now, wait, you look familiar. They may be in the witness protection program soon. As long as you don't show it. So are you guys just screwing around? No, no. No, I mean, you know, I mean, I see that you get it. The screws. This is, uh, yeah, this is actually a jig set up here. If you can see here, we've got, we've got this set up on a, on a jig that we made so that every panel is exactly the same. You've got your first strips here and the whole thing will lift up when it's all done. Every, every panel, all 12 of the panels will be, uh, will be the exact same size. So why is this such a huge oh, deal? Man. Yeah. It's a huge deal uh, for my kids to be able to come out here and ride this thing, Rick, when I'm done with it, when we're done with it. And uh, when they have their kids, they can um, tell them, hey, Grandpa built the sleep arms, Grandpa built this floor that you're standing that's, on, that's Grandpa, a, yeah, that's Grandpa helped do this. I'm not an artistic guy, so as far as painting horses, I'm not going to do that. It'll look like the horse at the end when you when you walk down there. You'll see it. So you, you do what I you can do. do. This. I do what you I do. You do what you yep. know how to do well. Right, and I'm learning lots of stuff here. With, that, uh, I mean, there's the so much to this thing. It's it's like, it's like a big huge puzzle, you guys. Look at this. All, all these pieces. All the wood members that are in this project that were on the stair cell, including the sleep arms you're looking at, were all coated with lead-based paint back in 1929 when it was built. Uh huh. We don't want any of the lead-based paint items in the stair cell. That's why everything is getting replaced with new materials. Everything's brand new. Hey, Aaron. Yes, right. So what are you finding out? What am I finding out? Yeah, I see you over here over here working. You're, what were you finding I'm out? I'm playing. Leave me alone. She's, she's with the party girl. Come That's on. right. We're planning a party. So what did you learn over here? Oh, well. What did I learn over here about what? The horses. What were you looking at? You'll, you'll find out. Yeah. We'll go. We'll go. Skip your well, come yeah, here. Well, come, 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 tell me what you found out. Um, not really a whole lot, but these horses are pretty cool. They um, carousel or menageries. They only decorate the outside side of the animal, so not the inside. Because nobody cares. So only the side you see. <laughs> Uh -uh. Oh, well. well, some of these are painted all the way, but they, that's really the true. Sure. Hold on, we're gonna. I'm, I'm, all way around, yeah. all the way I'm looking at their back side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, but, but traditionally, you guys, only one side of the uh, animals is actually painted. The side that you see from outside. Yeah, well, Brian. Is the right? plans for the building? That's what it's supposed. That's what they're hoping mm -hmm. it can look like. Yeah. So you'd have a carousel here. Inside of a building, similar. This is kind of like what Albany has, and then like that. That is so cool. And again, look at this stuff. Crazy, lots of work. So you guys think that you'll have it set up by, by spring? Well, we got a lot of hurdles to jump over, but uh, financial uh, and uh, the. Agreement with Brad Chevrolet is ongoing and it's being written up by its lawyer now, so we hope it'll be okay. Bernie says, Great job, go Cottage Grove. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys, you can help. Um, so there's a couple of things you can actually do. So, one, simple, super, super simple, hardly takes any effort at all. Share this on your page. And, and I can see if you do or don't, I know. So, share it on your page. And tag them if you can. Yeah. What was it, CG Carousel? 
tag them in their page to get the word out and share it. And so that helps them get the word out on what they're doing. The other thing is that February 10th, that dinner, it's going to be a fun time. The whole town, I've come to these things in Cottage Grove, and it's like you are not a stranger. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's not just because I'm Rick Dancer. You come to these <laughs> things, and I went to, they had their the Cottage Grove Armory, mm -hmm. and they had this big night where they had a big band in the back. The whole place was decorated. Beautiful dinner. It was so much fun. And my wife and I felt like we were part of the community. We were just like, like Grovers, you know? It was mm -hmm. like really super fun. So come down and be part of that. Stress yourself a little bit. And then, uh, then the money you pay for that is going to help donate to the, to the cause as well. If you're anybody with some kind of a talent, um, you could come down and help work yeah. on this thing as well. Uh, the school kids are doing the artist rework, but you can do some of this stuff. Thank you, Delise, for sharing that. I appreciate that. And... Um, any other way? Oh, and if you happen to have a building in downtown Cottage Grove and you want to donate land, it. <laughs> land, land, land. How much land do you guys need? Be about 120 by 150, 160 feet. Okay. Yeah, 22, 23,000 square feet. So about a half acre. Yeah, a little less than that, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. Party girl, come here. Cause, no, 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 you're not in trouble. So the thing that people need to understand, because if you put this downtown or somewhere in Cottage Grove like that, you've already got the covered bridges, which draws. You guys, sure. they, so the Cottage Grove, for those of you who are outside the area, because I know some of you are on here, Cottage Grove is like the covered bridge capital of Oregon. Um, there are how many? Do you know? 22. I think Somewhere there's, I think there's more than 20 yeah, just yes. in this area. And people come here to just drive around and take pictures of them. So and it's they're a, fascinating. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And we have one that's, an, that's the only one this side of the Mississippi, which is the Chambers Railroad yes. Ridge. Yes. And a few years ago, they redid it. They took the wood, replaned it, redid the thing, made it just beautiful. And so that's a draw. So now you add a carousel to the downtown and or area here. Uh -huh. It's going to be a big tourist draw for people coming yes, down here. Yes. So there's and an economy kind of thing going on. Here. Yes, and, and historical, too, to build up our, our historical value in our area and to provide entertainment for families. So who was this woman who, who who passed away recently? Do you know what? Do we know more about her? That we what a sweet lady. Oh, to, Judy to... Cash was very very active in our community. She did um, a lot of volunteer work. Um, she was a registered nurse in yes, her profession. Yes, yes and she'd done a lot of work in different places in the town and different groups and so forth through the years. So, so it'd be really cool as a tribute, tribute to her to, to yes, leave this, this. This is we call it Judy's dream. You know, her only people used to ask her, well, what are you going to get out of this? She said, the only thing I want to see are the smiles on the children's faces. Yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. And so she, her, you know, she was really adamant that this gets out into the community and gets out. Well, how about we come back when they're done and do a show, and then I'll bring oh. Reese. And maybe that Roxanne, would be so funny. We can it. write yes. it. Yes. yes. She'll be two oh. then, and then my other maybe yes. six. Oh, nice. So we can bring them. Nice. Yes. Yep. So All right, cool. Can I turn the calliope on? You've Let's go do it. Show me what it is. Dwayne. Okay. Where? What is it? Which one is it? What is it? Dwayne. That green. Oh, hit it. Hit hold, it. hold on. I'm going to go back there. Hold on. We're going to do the calliope. Hold on, guys. Hold on. No, I don't want to bring that on. All right. Get some tension on this guy here. This was steam powered originally, so this setup on top here is, uh, is a little custom. <laughs> Thank you. 
my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I'm going to tape that for Instagram. Yeah. you got to get an Instagram in there. All right, Erin, thank you. Easy Credit Consulting. We couldn't do this without her. And we'll be back to write on it. Yes. Your daughter's going to be so bad that she didn't come. And you guys, thank you. Thanks to all the Grovers. Yeah, I know you guys are welcome. February 10th, don't forget. See you guys later. Share this on your page. We'll talk to you later.